Kylie Jenner is a makeup mogul with a jet-setting lifestyle, so keeping her schedule straight is a full-time job. Being her personal assistant is a lot more than just volunteering your arm for swatches. It's fun though, it's like fun. It's work, it's fun. Does being Kylie Jenner's personal assistant sound like a dream job? Well, you might be surprised at how easily Victoria Villarol ended up with this coveted position. She started out studying visual communications at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising in Los Angeles, and browsing Instagram in her spare time. When she was scrolling, she discovered someone who worked for Jenner Communications and had to send out quite a few emails before she got one back. Victoria interviewed for an internship and says the company took not just her resume, but her personality into consideration when they picked her. Like, I was very confident back then. But interning at Jenner Communications wasn't exactly exciting most of the time. According to Victoria, her main duty was to make the place presentable when the cameras showed up. The only thing that made her position seem glam was the fact that she was doing it all for the Kardashian-Jenner family. After Victoria graduated, she spent a year in Spain before returning to LA and returning to Jenner Communications as a full-time office manager. This time, she has a lot more work to do. Victoria made sure the office was spotless, ordered supplies, fielded phone calls, and set up meetings. After being there for only a few weeks, Kylie decided she was in need of a personal assistant. Since Victoria was already on the payroll and Kylie knew who she was, she landed the job. Talk about being at the right place at the right time. But working as Kylie's personal assistant wasn't like being at a 9 to 5. She was now on call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, in case Kylie needed anything. But far from being put out, Victoria believes that's part of the PA job description. But working for this famous family means a lot more than simply being on call. Even though they're not strangers to reality television, they want to be the ones who control how much of their private lives are public. So being able to keep secrets is an absolute must if you're working for anyone in the family. Victoria says that when she first started, Kylie called her into her room, closed the door, and unloaded all of her secrets. Good thing Victoria is the trustworthy type. She was even one of the first people to find out that Kylie was pregnant with her daughter Stormy. I was like, no. Like, this is a baby. <laughs> Although her job required a lot of skills, she admits that the most intimidating part was just getting Kylie to like her. Best friend might not have been in the official job description, but it was clearly implied. Of course, Victoria had to do a lot more than simply keep Kylie's confidence. She started out by managing her mansion, making sure the pantry was stocked and everything was kept tidy. But before long, her duties shifted to Kylie's life and ensuring things ran as smoothly as possible. It was Victoria who booked all of her spray tan and manicure appointments, and those tasks became all the more important when Kylie wanted to attend formal events. Then Victoria would have to coordinate with hairstylists, designers, makeup artists, and figure out how to get her red carpet ready. In addition to scheduling, Victoria did have to deal with some very particular demands from Kylie. Apparently, this star is very strict about her morning smoothie and expects her employees to know what flavor she wants. Well, Kylie asks me for the same smoothie every morning, <laughs> and I always ask her, what flavor? She's like, you should know the flavor. If the drink is deemed too warm or if she catches someone touching the straw, she refuses to drink it and demands a new one. She had tons of responsibilities, but that doesn't mean she was always perfect. In fact, the very first time the pair was supposed to travel together, she slept through her alarm, and Kylie had to drive herself to the airport. Oh, the horror. Victoria was mortified, but luckily Kylie wasn't too upset. Over the years, the two of them became close friends in addition to having a working relationship. So needless to say, people were stunned when they learned that that Victoria had up and quit and was no longer working for Kylie. Everyone wanted to know what had happened between them, and an anonymous source told Us Weekly that they had the answers. Allegedly, Victoria wasn't satisfied being an assistant to a social media star like Kylie. She wanted her own followers, and had quit her job to pursue a career as a social media influencer. Since she has over 900,000 followers on Instagram, this wasn't too hard to believe. But even though it sounds reasonable, according to Victoria, it's just not true. She says that after working as Kylie's personal assistant for five years, she felt it was time to move on professionally. Victoria told the Girl Cult podcast that it was a hard decision, but she's determined to grow and felt she couldn't do that in her current position. She claims that she's constantly networking and exploring new ideas, and it's only a matter of time before she finds inspiration on what to do next. 
As for her friendship with Kylie, that's doing just fine. Both Kylie and Victoria claim that they're closer than ever, and their social media posts definitely reflect this. According to Victoria, she realized they were blurring the line between business and friendship when Kylie would call her up to chat about her personal life and other topics that definitely weren't work-related. Now that she's no longer an employee, these two are free to just be besties. What do you think about being Kylie Jenner's personal assistant? Does this sound like a dream job to you, or would it be a nightmare? Let us know what you think in the comment section, and don't forget to click on the subscribe button for more videos from us here at The Taco. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.